I feel like I just said so many words and now I can't breathe. Hi YouTube! Today I'm going to unbox my regular $10 Ipsy and my Sephora Play Box for you. We'll see how they stack up against each other. So if that sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. If you don't know, Ipsy and Sephora Play are both $10 subscription services. So for $10 every month, you'll get a little bag of sample size goodies, makeup, skincare, um, sometimes hair stuff as well. And it's a good way to try out different brands, try out different items. Some months both of them are great, some months one's better than the other, some months they're both kind of meh, it's really just depends. So let's see what's inside for the March of the March of month. The month of March. So let's start with Ipsy. So I haven't looked at this and I do have add-ons, I think. Pretty sure I had add-ons for my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and I'm pretty sure they're in here too because this feels pretty heavy. Um, so yes, unless there's just items outside of the bag, we'll just dump everything out. And this is the bag for this month. It's a rose gold bag. It says, and off she went to change the world. So I guess rose is the theme, or rose gold, pink is the theme for Ipsy and BoxyCharm this month. Um, but this is a cute bag. It has like a pretty vibrant blue zipper, which is an interesting choice. Um, and inside it's, it's hot pink. So let's pause on that for a minute. And let's see, the add-ons that I got were, oh yeah, so same as in my Ipsy Plus, I got another travel size of the Boom Boom Cream because this was three bucks and I travel all the time and love this stuff, so that's nice. And then this was also three dollars. Um, this is a full-size Ofra highlighter and the shade, it looked really good for fair skin online so come on we'll see what it looks like if i can get out of this bubble wrap although i do appreciate the bubble wrap because whenever i get things like this shipped to me they break so it looks like this is their old packaging right because i think the new packaging is actually i think i have one right here Hang on. their new packaging is this square if i'm not mistaken so that's probably why we got it for such a discounted price so hopefully that doesn't mean the actual highlighter is like old and expired but who knows um so it's this really pretty like champagne kind of color and that's what it looks like on my finger and you can see let's see i probably swatched it in like the worst spot it's right here on my hand um it is raining and gloomy and disgusting outside so i'm filming with the natural light that i have like i always do but it's really bad today so um i kind of want to see sorry i just wanted to grab a brush and a mirror close by because i want to see what this actually does and the brush picked up a lot i don't know if you can see that but let's see i already have a highlighter on so I guess it's not woo, really fair, but wow, okay. So I added the highlighter to that side. This is a Wet n Wild highlighter that I had on before, and I think this made it more vibrant. I don't know, what do you think? I feel like the Ofra side is definitely more vibrant, but now I wanna like even it out. Yeah, that is really nice. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we are blinding. So the shade, I don't know if I said this already, but it's Star Island. And again, three bucks to add it on a full-sized Ofra highlighter. That's pretty awesome. So let's get into the actual bag and see what's in the $10 bag without add-ons. So the first item I see in here is a brush. This is Chic blush brush a chic blush brush and this is like again that rose gold type of theme what the heck is march like pink month or something what is going on i have no idea um but this is a pretty i don't know it it feels kind of cheap it's i really like getting brushes in subscription boxes i have gotten so many brushes lately and it's nice to get, but this one does not feel like the highest quality brush that they've ever had. Um, these are pretty loosely packed, but we'll see. You never know. It could be the best brush ever. We'll have to see what it's like, but it's not very heavy or anything like that, but it's cute. Next up is the Maneater Tarte Mascara. 
Um, hmm, I thought that this was in gold packaging. Is Did they change the packaging? What do you guys know? Because I've gotten a sample size of this before and it was gold with black little like leopard print, I thought. Do I still have it? So since I'm a hoarder and I never throw anything away, I'm right. I have a, this ma same mascara, but it is in gold packaging. It's pretty beat up, but it's the same thing, um, just in gold packaging instead of purple. And I don't remember really liking this mascara because I don't really like brushes that are super thinly spiked like this one. Um, I like a more full brush. I don't, I don't know why, but um, so I don't know. I might probably give this away since I already have a sample of it or I'll try this again and see if I like it I can't remember honestly next up we have more bubble wrap and inside it it's a space case cosmetics what is this mm. alien love child oh I see ombre up popier slash eyeshadow so I read the French before I read the English hmm I am having a really great day if you guys couldn't tell so this is what the little box looks like it's cute um they don't always come in little boxes like this so I'm guessing it's like a full-size single shadow maybe um I don't know if I've heard of space case cosmetics but this is what the unit looks like unit container packaging whatever you want to call it and it is purple Ooh, but it's like a duochrome kind of purple it's like a purpley blue let's see oh it's very soft holy smokes all right let's see if okay so it's like a sheer this is it down here let's layer it up a little see if that helps yeah so it's like a light purple with like a weird shift to it almost like a pink purple pink shift uh and again the lighting's not the best so hopefully you can see that i don't know that i'll ever wear it it's not quite in my comfort zone but maybe it will break me out of my comfort zone now let's see what do we want to do next another box in here this is estate do me baked highlight powder I don't really like baked highlighters I don't know what it is but okay and it's a do me d-e-w like do like dewy um which I love because I have very dry skin so of course I want to be dewy and look dewy oh my gosh okay so I've gotten this exact brand probably another baked highlighter from them this looks super familiar but just not um this exact one this is pearl i think i have this just maybe in a different shade already but um i don't really like ah, oh gosh hopefully i don't break it i don't really like baked highlighters but we'll give it a test right so oh i don't want to flip you off this is on my middle finger kind of what it looks like and it's on the bottom here the top is the ofra all right so it doesn't seem too bad it's just like I don't know it's like chalk it's just not the type of highlighter that I prefer that's all down there yeah I don't know so we should have one more item and yes let's see this is the Trisola hydrate intense hydrating mask okay um, let's see it says for damaged color treated and over processed hair oh it's a hair mask oh my gosh i'm so glad that i read that because i totally would have put this on my face and that would have been awful okay so it is a hair mask and it is for over processed hair which i don't color my hair anymore but that's okay um let's see it has oil essential oils and extracts panthenol keratin uv absorbers so to apply a teaspoon to the palm of your hand and distribute thoroughly through towel dried hair beginning at scalp to ends. All right, so I have um, the uh, hair mask that I've been trying. I might try this, but I'll probably either give it to my brother's girlfriend who she gets her hair bleached and I know she needs stuff like this. So I'll see how she likes it or maybe I'll give it a try. Who knows, but okay, something different. And that's everything in the bag. So we do have this um card now it says it's national women's history month on the back it says wait there's more 
and it's just telling you to buy more stuff online but now again they're doing this little card where it tells you all of the items in your bag and a little bit about them so I guess that means that they're not quite as personalized as they used to be right because there's no way they're putting up this card for every individual bag so they must have batches of them which I don't know I don't know how that makes me feel um, but that's everything in the Ipsy bag so let's check out Sephora play and then we'll talk about both Sephora Play also comes with a little card that tells you about it. I won't look at it yet. And you get a 50 bonus rewards points card to use too. And literally, I get these every month and I think I have remembered to use it one time. And I'll even go to Sephora and be like, I have to remember to use my 50 bonus points card that I have in my wallet. And then I'll forget. And then they expire. So remember to use them. Um, I think you can use them online now, but I still forget. So there's no hope for me. But let's see what's in the bag. It comes in this Ziploc bag and it says your once a month squeal inducing bag of amazingness is here. Hashtag Sephora play. We'll see about that. So let's jump in. What's the first thing in here? Um, all right. First thing, it's the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. So it's a sample size of their Sephora branded mascara. And there's a picture of a little brush on here. It looks like one that... I actually prefer more that style of brush, but this is Sephora brand. I feel like they could have just given it to us in full size, but that's okay. We'll try it out. Again, I'm telling you guys, I'm never going to have to buy mascara ever again. And the next item is, ooh, oh my gosh, ooh, what? NARS, okay, NARS, what is this? It's a bronzing powder. Oh my gosh, please be Laguna, please be Laguna, please be Laguna, please be Laguna, please be Laguna. <gasps> Laguna, oh my gosh, I've been wanting to try this and I haven't tried it. I don't know why, but I haven't. Um, this is awesome. Okay, so I don't know if that counted as a squeal, but that's probably as close as I'm ever going to get to a squeal. So, all right, Sephora, I see you, I see you. So let's get this out of here. All right, so it's this cute little tiny um, component says NARS you open it up let's see oh my gosh look it has a little tiny baby mirror ah okay so we had this tiny little mirror and a little NARS plastic uh, covering to protect the bronzer and that's what it looks like Ooh, that might be dark for me let's see um ran out of space on my ipsy hand oh actually that's not that bad oh my gosh that's gonna be perfect Cool. Okay, I bet you can build this up too. <gasps> Yay! All right. I wish I didn't have bronzer on. Oh my gosh. I want to use this. Tomorrow's another day. It's going to be okay. Oh, and then if this is great, then this can replace my bronzer that's in my travel bag because right now it's the Marc Jacobs one and it's humongous and takes up so much space. And that would be so much more travel friendly. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm done with this. All right, Sephora. All right. I see two things that look very similar, so I'm going to pull them both out. Um, one is the Triple Sec Dry Bar 3-in-1 Spray for your hair. Um, I've gotten this like four times in, in bags. I literally have so many samples of this sitting right over there, and I know I do. And it's really light compared to this, which is the Amica, which is the brand that my hair mask is. Um, Perka Dry Shampoo. Perfect. Okay. I've been needing a travel size dry shampoo. This is great. All right. This I'm excited about. This not so much just because I already have this. Um, and seriously, why is this so light? Holy smokes. Okay. Um, okay, this has 10 grams and this has 21 grams. So there is more than double the amount of product in this bottle compared to this bottle. So that would make sense. And there's dog barking, dogs barking in the background. So I am really sorry about that. But they're just not going to stop. And I'm running out of daylight. So we got to keep on going. I feel like I just said so many words and now I can't breathe. Okay, next item in here, oh, this is like their little throwaway item. They put in five items and then like a extra little sample, usually like a foil packet or perfume. Um, this is the Versace Bright Crystal Eau de Toilette. And, oh, okay, it's this is what the inside looks like. It says the scent is supposed to be a bunch of things. Peony, pomegranate, magnolia, musk. Um, peonies are my favorite flower, fun fact. Not because of the way they smell, just because of the way they look. But let's see. I don't want to spray this on me in case I don't like it. Did it, did it work? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Usually I don't like things that are super floral, but this is 
not bad. I actually don't mind this little sample. But it is very potent. Whew, okay. I'm going to smell that for a really long time. I should have sprayed it on like paper or something. But that's quite alright. Let's get to the last item. Which is Super Goop. Awesome. Okay. Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Say that five times fast. Unseen sunscreen. Unseen sunscreen. Unseen sunscreen. Unseen sunscreen. Unseen sunscreen. Was that five? Anyway. SPF 40 water and sweat resistant 40 minutes um sunscreen cool okay so it's for your face wonderful um and i'm going to hawaii for a vacation in a couple of weeks and i need to put this on my face so that i don't get burned because whenever i go somewhere warm like that i get sun poisoning my first day because i'm like i don't need sunblock even though i'm a ghost and i get burnt so i will pack this and that will be really great cool okay so i think we have a pretty clear winner this month surprisingly i think that my sephora play bag was way better than my ipsy bag even though in sephora play we got two hair products the one dry shampoo uh, mika brand that one's awesome the laguna bronzer is really cool the sunscreen's great the mascara's and eh, you know whatever we'll try it and even the perfume i don't mind i still am smelling it and it smells pretty good Ipsy, that big highlighter, I'm like, meh, about, it's not really my style. The eyeshadow, you know, it's not a color that I'm going to use a lot, but it might break me out of my comfort zone a little bit. The mascara I already have, the hair mask, I don't color my hair, and that brush was meh as well. We'll see how it applies, but just looking at it and feeling it, it didn't feel like anything crazy special. Um, I still liked the bag. It was okay. I just think that Sephora this month was a little bit better. So that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you think I'm awesome because I think you're awesome and I'll see you guys next time.